Hey everybody, this is Mr. Trizzle with another tutorial on the Refined Power Mod. This is tutorial number 10, focusing on nuclear heaters. For this tutorial, we are going to be working with nuclear heaters, Mark II boilers, reactor cores of your choice, whether they be DT or denarium, and water. Nuclear heaters work exactly like coal heaters and solution heaters. The basics are exactly the same, except that you're gonna be using reactor cores to heat up the water than, say, coal. First thing we wanna do is grab a nuclear heater and place it down, followed by a Mark II boiler. We wanna make sure that we have our reactor cores I'm choosing DT reactor cores because they're not radioactive. I'm gonna go ahead and connect that. And then the heater is gonna start heating up. Now you'll notice that the temperature is going faster than the burn rate DT reactor core. While the nuclear heater is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and connect the water. Go ahead and produce steam here. It's already starting up. And then we're going to connect the output to a chest. Let's go ahead and make that a Mark 1. And the output are advanced reactor casings, which means that you can turn this into a closed loop system, which is very handy. Next, we want to go ahead and place down a converter platform and a cooling platform. And then we want to go ahead and place our Mark II turbine along with a high voltage generator and our steam cooling tower. Go ahead and connect your steam cooling tower to the output of the turbine Mark II generator. And then go ahead and connect the steam generator to the boiler. Congratulations, you now know how to use nuclear heaters. Somebody might ask, well, what's the advantage of having a nuclear heater? Well, the advantage is you can power five Mark II turbines which will power five high voltage generators and you only need two steam cooling towers. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment below, and hit the subscribe button. Until next time.